Easy job. <laughs> so any anything else you guys want to do with Harlow here? He says that he was an assassin. All and, right, so he's an and he just who made the, who the hell did you kill? Oh, I killed all sorts of people, diplomats, citizens, civilians. Oh, fuck old women, I just love killing. <laughs> who the fuck transitions from assassin to mime? That does seem like a rather odd transition. Well, have you seen that that new show, Barry? Barry, no, no, I yeah. can't say I have. It's great. It's on HBO. It's it's got Bill Hader in it, and he he well. He was a Marine and he became an assassin. He was a Marine. He became a hitman. And then he went to this acting class with the teacher was the Fonz. You know, uh, uh, Henry Winkler. Har- Har- Harry Winkler. Is Henry that his name? Winkler, you son Henry, of a yeah, yeah, Henry Winkler. He's, well, he's the teacher and he becomes an actor and it's great. And I thought it was great. And I love the show. And I was like, you know, I could do that. Look, you but, monochromatic motherfucker. You wait, hold up, man. Some answers. You try, you try to bullshit me, say that you, you changed your whole career from killing people to being a mom because he watched a fucking TV show on HBO. That's some bullshit. Well, you know. Hey, haven't people, you ever heard that TV makes people not kill people? I mean, have you seen Bill Hader? He's just delightful. Uh, man's delightful. There's no getting along with that, but that's a terrible goddamn backstory. I tell you what. Well, hey, you try to find a acting class in fucking per- Juniper Springs, Missouri. Okay, they don't have them here. All I had was an old mime who moved here from Chicago because he was a bad mime. Then no move, wanted- you son of a bitch. You were an assassin. You were all over the world. You choose try to find an acting class in Juniper. Fucking Springs, fuck don't that. You, don't you think there's a reason I lived in Juniper Springs? No one fucking knows who I am here, boy. Ah, oh, fuck that. You're supposed to be a master of disguise, and all you disguised was your fucking stupidity. Now, that's just downright hurtful and unnecessary. Well, you know what's also unnecessary? Being a fucking mime. That's a worse form of acting. Well, apparently, I'm a pretty good mime because I just made real walls. Larry, All right, now God tell me it. how you this made this goddamn pointless. wall. I don't That's what know. I'm asking. That's what I want to know. How the fuck is that wall real? I don't know. I'm honestly, I'm terrified of the walls becoming real. The, well, I'll tell you my, what. My teacher joked and he said that, you know, if you're a bad mom, sometimes that happens because you tap into the dark side of reality. And I was like, ha ha, you're a stupid ass, Clyde. But then it happened. <laughs> Terrifying. Take a I, have, I used to have... I used to have nightmares about it. That's your first fucking Super Movie Brother Dave checking in with 20 bucks to get us to 39.50. We're so close to moonshine, ladies and gentlemen. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Drew Hallam checking in the chat. Let's make sure Drew's still in there. 50 more bucks we get to moonshine. Thank you very much, Dave. So I've I've been I've been sitting in the car for like the last like five ten minutes just because i'm i'm just not having this and i'm i just beep the horn i'm like the fuck are we doing here <laughs> i thought well there's some bitch don't know what how he got himself trapped inside these damn walls well fuck him we got places to be <laughs> all we right got places well, shit, to he be. said he used there's to kill people hell. we might need here. him Get out of the you fucking car bitch, get the get the hell up and get come on now get in the damn car we got places to be there's invisible we fucking walls. We're just skills. gonna forget about this. Fuck that wall. We ain't got time for it. We gotta get to the sheriff's office, and maybe it's some bitch is killing Man, people. That bitch isn't gonna tell us skills. anything. She's useless. Just bring him along. I ain't That's going anywhere with my you. fucking what? car. Fuck don't, that guy. Don't I have a fucking choice here? Get your I monochromatic don't... ass in the car. You get away from me, big boy. I'll, I'll punch sit you in on the your face. Ass. You either come to hell along, or we're gonna. We're going to have to force you to come along. I'll oh, tell you, you what. Better, you better fucking try. I'll I ain't kick your ass. That dick Porkins, head nowhere. I'll tell you what, then. Porkins, put his ass back. Uh, I, are see. you going to try to kick some ass? I'm going to try to kick some ass, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Let's see. Eight. Okay. Um, 
So I believe that means you successfully kick ass, but you take harm back, right? Yeah. Let me see what the. Yeah, but how does that work with my? Uh, says. Because I picked berserk and what does not kill okay. me. Um. So on any success, uh, seven or more, you and whatever you're fighting inflict harm on each other. The amount of harm is based on the established dangers in the game. That usually means you inflict the harm rating of your weapon and your enemy inflicts their attack's harm rating on you. Uh, you can take seven harm before you die. But since this guy is kind of unaware and he's a fucking unarmed mime, you probably that used, just pop that, him one. Th- that used to be a hitman. Yeah. But it's pork. It is porkin. So what are what are your what are your I have, perks? I have berserk and what does not kill me. So no matter how much harm I take, I can always keep going until the current fight is over. Uh, the keeper may not use harm moves on me, and I cannot die when the fight ends. All harm takes effect. And what does not kill me? It says if Damn. I suffer harm, I gain plus one ongoing until the fight is over. Holy yeah, shit! I made an amazing decision by telling Porkins to get him. Did you just say <laughs> that I can't inflict harm on you? You may not use harm moves on me, and I cannot die. Okay, it's so legitimately on, so the, on the screen harm, of the live stream. But like, there's there's special moves that like if you cross a certain threshold of harm, you get to make a harm move against him. Oh, which is like, gotcha. You get knocked down, or like your your arms broken, so like you can't use one of your hands, or like shit like that, well, or like gotcha. you you fall unconscious. Gotcha. Well, in this case, uh, you're gonna take one harm. Um, just cause he's, he's a trained hitman. He's got a pretty good right cross. He actually like saw you sort of menacing and like popped you one, but you, you know, with your brass knuckles, absolutely dropped him. He's just out like a light. Caught him. Holy shit. We fucking doing this. All right. Hell yeah, man. Let's get this monochromatic motherfucker in the car. He kind of gave you a bloody lip a little bit. That's going to hurt when I eat that Big Mac. <laughs> Holy shit, big boy. You done knocked him the fuck out. I told I'm him to. fucking around with mimes and clowns and sheriffs and all this shit. We ain't even got to the sheriff yet. Let's get to the damn sheriff. He I starts... Gro- sheriff, <laughs> he me. starts... He starts just kind of groaning on the ground. No, like, we're... Uh, uh, not the uh, sheriff. Uh, we're going to... Uh, uh, the girl in dad's house. I can't remember what their name was. Jacob and the daughter. Whenever yeah. you go to, whenever you go to like pick Leave them a up. Girl. Yeah. Jacob and uh, is it Amy? Or maybe. Oop, go. Uh, <laughs> Angie. Angie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck that mime, right? So, um, yeah. Whenever you go to pick up the mime, you notice that he is wearing like faded clown pants. Look I at this fucking guy cosplaying as the crow. <laughs> fucking want to be fucking edge lord. Fuck this guy! I think he is. I don't know. I guess he thought he was a fucking funny man trying fucking to fucking Robert, Robert Smith jokes. wannabe. <laughs> I tell you what, he messed with the bull. He got the horns. Oh, Porky here! <laughs> All right, him there. The fuck out. Breakfast Club. Porkins went and ate his shorts. He ate his goddamn breakfast, which might have to be a plate of Big Macs. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Let's get to fucking Jacob. Oh. Alright. Uh, let's kind of no go over what we've learned so, so far. Mime. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we've learned so far people in town can't sleep. Yep. Um, Mimes can create real walls. Yep. For some reason, people this keep going to the circus every day. Pants. And assassins drop like bitches. <laughs> and only, what was only uh, once they become mimes? 
could you could you refresh us on what uh fucking Jacob and Angie like what their part in this was that the sheriff said exactly creepy farmer, creepy farmer cult just that they're creepy and she thinks they're a cult just for no reason that's pretty much it like she uh Angie had been like complaining about some sort of crazy mutant clowns and how they were going to take over everyone in town and kill everyone um and then next thing you know Jacob was spreading the rumors too and yeah that sort of thing. They they were freaking out about clowns. And okay. The sheriff thinks it caused a mass hysteria. And that they've been poisoning people with, with the drugs. Yeah, they, they think that yeah. they've been um, poisoning the Pizza Hut. Poisoning the Pizza Hut. <laughs> Alright. Sweet. And this guy's wearing faded clown pants. Yep. And suspended. Well, fuck. This this dude technically is a clown, so he won't take up any space in the car, so throw him in. Hell yeah. We could get like 70 more of them in here. I really feel like this guy right here has got something connected to what's going on here. And I mean more than just he's here. So you tossed him in the trunk or backseat or what? Trunk. <laughs> He'd have got a he'd have got a back seat seat if yeah. his ass hadn't have started fighting. I keep I keep tools and shit in the in the trunk just in case I need to do like a roadside repair or anything. So like I probably have like some zip ties and shit so I can tie his hands up so he's not like fucking pulling an invisible rope out and like hanging himself or whatever. And your your you moonlight as a serial killer, of course, like all insurance claims adjusters. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Fuck you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, we are playing the part of Dave's alibi. He's in the chat. <laughs> I swear to God, he's in the chat, people. All right. Um. So you guys get them all tied up, tossed in the trunk. You gonna gag him? Well, and now I am. You shouldn't be talking anyway. <laughs> yeah. Might as well. Get some duct tape. I'm going to take my Letterman jacket out of my trunk so he doesn't piss on it. Because I'm the kind of asshole who still carries around his high school Letterman jacket, even though I'm 41. <laughs> <laughs> what, what What's the year on that Letterman's jacket? Fucking 20... Uh, 96... A fine year. I think it smells like shame and cheap scotch. <laughs> hey, In that you, order. Man. Broken dreams right there. Broken dreams. Coach would have put me in that last quarter. We would have took state. No doubt. How much you no want to bet I could... Mind. How much you want, want to bet I could throw a football over them mountains? <laughs> oh, I'm sure you could do it. Sure as shit as pigs fly. Does everybody get that I'm doing Uncle Rico? Yes, I did. I yes, I got the joke. I, got the I joke. bet I could throw a ball over that mountain. I just know I could. <laughs> Damn you, Uncle Rico. Why are you eating all the steak? Get off of me, you bodaggit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we pull in at the farm. It's, what, about sundown? It's it's starting to approach dusk. Uh, Yeah. It, and uh, you've noticed that things are getting a little weird. Just oh, yeah, there was a fucking mime on the road. Yeah, we're yeah, only just even, noticing that now. All right, like how? No, like weird? even like, everything's even, been weird. Even weirder. Like you've noticed the the clock on the car is like spiraling through digits. The radio no longer works. Uh, if you look at your cell phones, there it's what not about only my eight track. No, nothing nothing electronic actually seems to work. Um in fact you you notice like your odometer and um your your tachometer of your dashboard is uh <laughs> um like slowing down and like your dome or not your dome light your panel light is like kind of flickering and uh well the engine car starts keep running cuz it's it was uh before they had electronics running the engines. It's mm. all it's all through the carburetor. Right. Yep, so 
so the car is running fine, but like everything in the car is sort of shutting down and looks all weird. What the hell's going on here, man? Your your headlights are kind of flickering too. Um, if you look at your cell phones, um, not only do they not have signal, they're actually not powered on anymore, and they won't turn back on. Larry, what the fuck did you do? I didn't do nothing, man. Seems like we drove through some sort of electrical field or something, cut everything the fuck off. Additionally, if you look in the rear view mirror, the um the the horizon of the town looks different. Like all of the buildings are are brighter, um and the architecture looks looks a lot newer. Like the buildings aren't as beat up and um they almost look all brand new. Even oh. the older older barns that, that had been collapsed are are now fully upright and red and bright and look brand new. That's something you don't see every day. That's pretty strange. I've never seen a uh, turn night and damn barn just be completely fine. Hell, I wish I had me one of them barns. But, uh, how far away f- are we at this point from uh, Jacob and his dog? You're you're actually pulling up in the into their long extended drive uh, along either side. Of the the driveway, there's a whole bunch of um, sheep and goats. All right. Uh, there's there's a field of wheat off to to one side. Okay. A big what? old. There's like a big old majestic looking farmhouse, like it was just built, but like in a really old architect architecture, like like mid 1800s architecture, like. But it, but the house looks absolutely brand new, completely pristine. Hmm. I guess I'll go up and knock on the door. You walk up the the really big old style open porch and uh on the door there's there's like a big clacker in the the shape of a like a a wheat husk. Fancy. So you like smack it three times and it it echoes and uh now I do shave in a haircut. Shave and a haircut? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you, you do you do that and uh it, it kind of reverberates. The house kinda sounds empty and you notice that the door is actually unlatched and free swinging. Right. Hey, anyone in here? It just echoes throughout the house. What's up, man? What's going on I guess, here? I guess they really were leaving. I guess so, man. <laughs> you just come down and took them away. Oh, that was such a bad pun. Uh, <laughs> I want to use uh, my move, oops, to find something important. Okay. Or stumble upon it. Does that involve a roll or no? It's happened. Nope, I just do it. Okay. I'll find something uh, important and useful, although not necessarily related to my immediate problems. Uh, you look so immediately to the inside of the door. There's like an old oil lantern and a box of matches. Um, and around that time, you notice that there's no lights on in the house, and it's it's pretty dark. All right, I'll strike up a match and light that lamp. Okay, so. Whenever, whenever you fire up the lamp, um, you sort of poke it inside the the doorway, and it lights up the atrium. And you can see there's a living room just beyond uh, the the main atrium or foyer of the house, and there appears to be some silhouettes sitting in the dark. Um, a number of them. Hey y'all, what you doing over there? No response. Four dollars and seven cents donated from Super Movie Brother Dave. <laughs> trying to get us to four thousand dollars so we can get Drew to drink some goddamn moonshine. <laughs> we need like forty five bucks. Forty five bucks. Chat, get on it. Get on it. Let's just small small dollars. Small donations, small amounts at this point. Yeah. We Nickel can definitely and dime. make up that gap. Alright. Hey, let me let me try something and uh 
I, I know y'all ain't going to be creepy on me. I'm going to turn around here, you see, and turn my back to you. And then when I turn back, you're going to be in the same position, hopefully. All right, he, here I go. I'm, I'm turning around. All right, and now I'm going to look back. And uh, stand, now, now all of the silhouettes are standing in a straight line uh, in that room, but you still oh, can't Jesus really make any. Christ. <laughs> I got to get the fuck out of here, guys. This is fucking weird. <laughs> weird no, nah, man, we got to figure out what the hell's going on here. Walls. They fucking, they don't move when you look at them. You look away, they fucking come at your ass. Come at you. I don't know what kind of shit's going on here. Uh, fucking bunch of goddamn preverts going to fucking <laughs> molest me. For <laughs> last, you ain't no goddamn child. They gonna rape you, son. Damn, they're not they gonna, gonna rape you. Good. Prison style. <laughs> hey, come uh, on, guys. You know that's my biggest fear. Was are you Tom from the Boondocks? <clears throat> this show is crass and sophomoric. Meh. Meh. Oh, it's been all right. Yeah. So, uh, quick interjection. I just, I just donated another five ninety seven to hashtag Moonshine for Drew. Moonshine for Drew. That means we are a mere forty dollars away. Uh, for Drew, and now, ladies and gentlemen, waiting for the alert, waiting for the alert. There the it money. is. Here I just donated another twenty dollars. We need twenty money. bucks. Twenty bucks, folks. Throw it in there, and Drew has to drink moonshine. Now, how do we? How do we prove that he drank the moonshine? Though, do we just take his word for it? Facebook Live, baby. Facebook, like Facebook Live. Live. Do, do you think we could pull could, pull up a panel of of Facebook Live on the the live? I thing? could get him. I could get him on a pier. He actually was on a pier with us earlier. I can get him right on a pier. We'll get him right in here. Twenty dollars, folks. Twenty dollars to reach four thousand dollars, and to make Drew drink some moonshine. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. All right, All right, so, so what are you guys um, what are you guys doing with this this mystery silhouette? I'm staring at it so it doesn't move again. Okay. They're um yeah, they're not uh they're not moving. They're just beyond your your field of view. So they they're all different heights. Good idea to invest There's in one history. There's one that's kind of tall. And the rest are all pretty short, of varying height. Eight total shape. Investigate a mystery. And I failed. Here comes the money! (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Sutton Coming through with a $20 donation, we are officially at $4,000 for the Cancer Research Institute. That is 80% of the way toward our goal of $5,000. And hashtag moonshine for Drew. Drew Hallam, baby. Uh, how do you want to do this? Do you want to record a video? Do you want to do it live? Do you want to do it live right on the stream? I can pull you right up and put you in a pier. Yeah. <laughs> This is the best thing that's ever interrupted Loot Quest, and a lot of things have interrupted Loot Quest. <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, that is definitely true. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, Dave. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus, Dave. All right, Drew. It's like, it's like the cookie game, and Drew's the cookie. Drew, it's a peer, uh, a peer dot in slash epic film guys. I shall be waiting for you to join. So, so 
John, in the meantime, what did you roll? Oh, uh, like a six. Oop, hang on. He's right That's here right fail. now. Oh. Mark experience for failing. Let me, hang on. Let me get yeah. him. Let me get him over onto the stream. Hang on. Let me get him onto the stream. The oh, money. shit. We got another donation, oh. too. I won. Kale, oh, I was ready. I was Kale ready. Just throws ten dollars on top of it, just because. <laughs> just throw. Oh the $10. yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite gift. Yes. <coughs> All right. Let me get. The, let me go ahead and get this on the stream here. Officially four thousand dollars, man. Holy fuck! We have like almost quadrupled the amount of money we made last year doing this shit. That's how Hell fucking yeah. crazy this is. Nice, uh, Drew. Drew. Thank you for being in such an amazing trooper and hanging out with us here into the oh, wee Jesus. hours of the morning as we play fucking loot quest. It's been it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. So I think as Shampoo said, this is as good a reason as any <laughs> to interrupt loot quest. So let's see it. Let's see it. Ladies and gentlemen, hang out. Wait, wait, right. wait, 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 wait. Where is it? This is a uh, this is a Buffalo Trace white dog. Ooh. Uh, so this is, this is probably like one of my favorite, like drinking bourbons. Um, so it's, uh, mash number one. It is a uh, 62.5% alcohol. So 125 proof. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So this is, this is my grandfather's shot glass who opened up one of the first bars in Arvin, California. So you know what? Real Phil's podcast, morning <laughs> live stream for the cure. That is fucking beautiful. You know what that tastes like? That tastes nice. like fuck cancer. That's, that's what that tastes oh, like. Shit. Fuck cancer, you're, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag fuck you're a cancer. trooper. We're officially less than $1,000 from our goal. I love it. Because less you know what? When I made that promise to you, it was it was just under wow. 3000 So Who I knew it wasn't going to be moonshine too for hard cancer. to make. Can that, be, can that be a hashtag? Fred is drawing moonshine for cancer hashtag. That was absolutely amazing, Drew. Thank you very, very much. I got no it. Another, another. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Uh, we got to play a special sound bite. Uh, let's see. Hang on. I've got something in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, damn it. Stop ganging up on me. No, not Denny. <laughs> anyway, how is your sex life? No, not that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find a good one. It's okay. But Drew, In a couple right? of minutes, bitch. <laughs> no, no In a few minutes, life. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you oh, calling the bitch? God. You and your bitched mother. <laughs> oh, my God. But, but yeah, uh, Drew, uh, Real Feels Podcast, thank you very much, uh, not only for taking the shot, but uh, for everybody that just donated to push us to right. four thousand dollars that means tomorrow one more day of live stream for the cure and we only have well 990 dollars to go to reach our goal and remember our donations are doubled so we are so close to ten thousand dollars for the cure that's we got this we got this that's fucking amazing thank you very much thank you very much drew and no um, should we get back to some role-playing i think we should let's, yeah. let's do it we gotta Check find out what happens yeah the... <clears throat> Back to the creepy house. <laughs> yeah. Um, so remind me what the what the bad thing is on uh, read a bad situation or it's investigate fucking... a mystery. He just he just fucks up. Oh, uh, for investigate a mystery, I think you like misread. Uh, on a miss, you reveal some information to the monster or whoever you're talking to. Uh, the keeper might ask you some questions, which you have to answer. Okay. Um. So you just hear from the the distance a guy go. You were sent by the clowns, weren't you? No, man. We just here trying to figure out what this hell this clown thing is, man. You hear also, a shotgun, John. Um. Mark experience if you haven't. Yeah. Since you yeah. failed a roll. All right. Yeah. That would be one, one box on experience. So. Yeah. You, yeah. you hear like a, a pump action shotgun. Hey, man. Oh, ain't no good. need to get all fucking shooty now. 
you have three seconds to get the fuck off my farm and away from my family. Hey, look, man, we're just here trying to figure out what's going on with these clowns. So we, we got um, sent. We're trying to take care of the situation, man. Three, one, two, three. I want to. I want to try to read a bad situation. Okay. <laughs> Fuck a three. My rolls are so bad. Um, I just uh, run. I run <laughs> to the car. Yeah, yeah. Two. I'm at the car. <laughs> one, two, three, one. motherfucker. Uh, I still think I can talk him out of this. Knock it off, Larry. Time for talks over. <clears throat> Are are you gonna are you gonna try to kick some ass? I'm kicking some ass. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ten. Holy shit. Holy fuck. So that means he, he kicks some ass and, and he doesn't take any hurt, does he? No, um so on any success, uh a partial success or full success, um each person inflicts their harm on the, each other. On a roll of ten or more, choose one extra effect. You gain the advantage, take plus one forward, or give plus one forward to another hunter. You inflict terrible harm, plus one harm. You suffer less harm, minus one harm. Or you force them where you want them. But he's still going to take him harm. Want him. He's still going to take harm. Okay. Um... So what exactly are you doing there, Porkins? He just kind of right. like growls and <laughs> fucking flails his fists at him and decks him. Okay. Um. Whenever you punch him, you knock him to the ground, but his gun goes off and shoots you right in the the left arm, like middle of your middle of your your bicep, um, and takes a a giant chunk out of it. You just get peppered with buckshot uh, and take three harm. Fuck. And I think you can do a harm move against him because if you take I can't three uh, harm in a single. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Son of a bitch. And from from either side, you hear a bunch of little girls like start screaming and they all just like rush over and just start like beating on you. Like, you know, with their tiny fists. What the hell is going on here? It's like a birthday party at Larry's house. Hey man, it's not my fault. We had all them damn kids. I should have <laughs> got one of them vasectomies. <laughs> I told you to get a goddamn vasectomy. <sighs> all right. So, um, from the car, you hear a gunshot. Somebody give me a fucking bandage. Ugh. All right. So, I mean, is it, is, Wait, is it just the little kids the there? Now oh. at this no, point? no, no, no. As like, in I silence, heard a gunshot. from the car, you I heard the gunshot. Else. Yeah. All right, Larry, go ahead and do whatever you're going to do. And then I am going to do a thing. All right. So, I mean, is it just the kids there beating on him now? He's on the yeah. ground or up. You you still can't really see because in in the confusion and cowardice when Silas ran out of the wait never mind you had the the lamp didn't you yeah uh you you hold up the the lamp and you can see that it's a bunch of girls in like long dresses and bonnets and uh, their dad is laying on the floor unconscious but um, Silas is or not Silas Porkins is standing over him uh, bleeding profusely from his arm. Where it's like sort of hanging limply down at his side. All right. Uh, hey, kids, y'all knock it the hell off now. Y'all knock it the hell off. If on, your daddy would just put down that damn arm gun, we have been all right. And uh, I'm going I'm to try to go over there and get them to quit beating on him and, and uh, get something to wrap his arm in. All right. Um, that how do you, you're just trying to like chew him off, or you? I you, mean. If I have to, I'm going to physically push them away from him. All right. So you you walk up and you're like, "Hey, kids, whatever," and they're not, and they're they're all still like panicking, and they they all look really just weary and and gaunt. 
Um, one of them in particular appears like her hair is really thin and like patchy on her head. She looks to be about 13 um, and, and is the not the oldest, but there she's the tallest, but has like a very young looking face. It looks like there's a couple of other girls that are older than her, um, okay. but she has like wispy hair and you, you kind of like restrain them and they all just look panicked and they're like sniffling and crying. It was the last time any of these kids had a fucking Big Mac. I reach into my coat and pull out another Big Mac and extend it towards them. <laughs> God damn it, Porkins. What? Not everything can be solved with a fucking Big Mac. <laughs> look at these kids. They look like they haven't eaten in weeks. They look like they ain't had a fucking bath in a month. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. That, they may even cleaned off more than any one of them fucking shitty Big Macs. I guess when all you have is an appetite, every problem looks like a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um the kids are just crying now i guess yeah they're like sniffling and crying and the dad's unconscious on the ground um right. they're not they're not like beating on him anymore well, I'm gonna, Borkins I'm gonna get... is still he's still bleeding real bad from yeah that's what i'm saying i got i'm getting some i'm gonna try to like wrap his arm and kind of yeah, like it's uh down. <laughs> at this time that i come running into the house uh, waving my snub nose forty five around that I just retrieved from under the seat of the car. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 walk in and you're brandishing the forty five and you see Porkins bleeding from his arm, standing over an unconscious man, a bunch of children in the room, and uh, Silas or Larry is just like, "Calm down, calm down," and they Holy see fuck, you, Porkins. What did you do? He knocked that son of a bitch out with that shotgun right there. I was trying to talk him out, uh, out of the whole thing. Tell him I could get that guy to quit, but man, he decided he's going to knock the hell out of him. Took a big chunk out of his fucking left Holy arm. Holy fuck. I, I can only fit. Be done. Can I get a goddamn bandage? I can I'm only trying, fit to son of two, a bitch. maybe three more people in my trunk. <laughs> well, that's why you got the special edition and all that trunk space, you know. Good for bodies. He's seriously the, the shotgun. I uh, sure enough. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna as I'm wrapping the uh, wrapping his arm up uh, and trying to get the bleeding stopped. Uh, I'm gonna be like, "Girls, now, why y'all all acting like this? What the hell's going on here?" The the one with the patchy hair, um, sort of bows her head silently and she doesn't say anything and one of the older girls and uh looks over and she's like why don't you ask angie this all started because of her all and right well, which in a snotty way angels? that that only little girls are capable of all right we don't need all that sass now who the hell's angie you're looking at her she's the one who doesn't want to say anything well girls and speak points up. At and points at the girl with the, the patchy hair. Larry, girl, speak maybe, up. Uh, this might be better if uh, you let a, a subtle hand handle this one, bud. Your, all right, all your right. temper's running a bit hot. Why don't you tend to our wounded man? And I got it. And uh, I'm going to try to manipulate someone. Use the, that move and... And talk to Angie here. God damn it. Bandage my fucking arm up, Larry. Come on. Ah, oh, hell. Hurts like a son of a you bitch. Son of a bitch. If you just wait a damn second, you wouldn't have a hole in y'all. I was tired of dealing with this shit. So I'm God, trying to get her to tell me basically everything she knows. Like what had her dad so spooked? Why? Like what's going on with the clowns? Etc. Um, so I'll roll plus charm, and that's a ten. Okay. Uh, so on a ten plus, they'll do it for the reason I gave them. If I ask too much, they'll tell me the minimum it would take for them to do it. Um. See, so yeah, I just ask. Hey, what's What's the deal with the clowns? What and what's got your old man so spooked there? I, I can tell you, but you you have to come over over here. Uh, I I can't say in front of my sister. Of course, darling. 
so you you follow her into uh the like the kitchen dining room area it's like a, a little hallway adjacent to the kitchen with a, a small table and a couple of worn down chairs and she she hops up on one of the chairs and like kind of pats the seat for you to sit down too yeah i sit down okay uh, and she's like well it all started because of my bad dream i i tried to tell daddy that there was there was something under my bed and he he didn't believe me can't blame him he's a He's a busy man, and he's done good for us since Mama left. And well, there was there was a clown, and it was there every night, and he would talk to me and say that it was gonna it was gonna come for me, and it was gonna take everything. But I, I went and I told my daddy, and he said, "No, Angie, there ain't nothing under that bed. It's just it's just your imagination. You're just sad about your mama." Why don't you go back to bed? But he kept coming back, and then, and then all of a sudden, everyone else started seeing things. Daddy, Daddy said that that Mama was there, but but it, she was mean. And and uh, I, Mister, I tell you, Mama was never mean. And then it, it started getting worse, and all uh, you know, Abigail was next, and she started seeing things too. And and I'm telling you, it's it's all because of that clown. He's he's coming in he comes in your dreams. But now no one no one sleeps anymore. And it's 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 getting worse, mister, I tell you, it's getting worse. And I, I don't I don't know what to do. But Daddy Daddy says it's 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 the Lord's work now and it's it's the end times and he we we started going going to church and People started giving us weird looks, and uh, and we, he made us start dressing like this. And like, I, I I like dresses, but I don't I don't know I don't know what's going on. Well, it sounds like your your daddy might have just dipped a little too much into the Kool Aid, just looking for some solace in the bad situation. I can certainly see how a man would be driven to that, but. I, I promise you, darling, whatever is going on here, I'm I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Gee, I sure do hope so, mister. Is, is daddy going to be OK? That that man hit him in the head real hood, real good. Um, oh, he's I, he's knocked hood. out. But you can see his chest is moving up and down. Your daddy's going to be just fine. Well, um, that sure is a lot of blood, though. I do. I do apologize for for you having to see that, darling. That's that's a terrible thing. And she she just gets real quiet again. All right. So, uh, God, my arm hurts like a son of a bitch. So, uh, at this what, uh, point, can't, wait, Nick, can't you do like first aid on yourself to remove harm or something? Um. Uh. No, I don't know how to remove harm in this you, game. Well, you can, like, but I didn't. But I took Berserk and I took what does not kill me. Like, if I would have taken one of the, uh, uh, I've like, got a skill parts. on this that I should have yeah. chosen. It's called it. Oh, one healing. Two, as, bad as it looked, moderate ru- wounds, one to three harm, will improve when your hunter has a chance to rest up mm-hmm. or get some first aid treatment. This yeah. reduces an injury by one harm. First aid does not normally require a move, it's just regular practice. Hunter moves that provide healing may be used in addition to first aid. So you can do you can do basic first aid and sort of bandage it up. What you notice yeah. whenever you start to to look at it is it's superficial, it didn't didn't hit any arteries or bones or anything. It's just peppered with buckshot and so you sort of picked out what buckshot you could. There's a couple of spots where it went through and through. Um and no um and just first it'll just remove one harm yeah so uh he (laughs) he like tore off a piece of your shirt and wrapped it around your arm so it's it's not like oozing down but you still have a I'm gonna I'm gonna check the the knocked out guy make sure he's good because he got bopped pretty good yeah he's good. He he's breathing very shallowly. Um, he definitely has a very severe concussion. 
and right, without gonna... medical treatment, it could, you know, it could get worse because he got whapped with brass knuckles. Meh. Um... So he'll be like Troy Aikman and he'll get a commentating job on Fox Sports? <laughs> Possibly, yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna get a bag of frozen peas out of the freezer and put them on top of his head. <laughs> okay uh that's that's the equivalent of doing first aid so it's gonna it's gonna stabilize him where he's not gonna like bleed out and it, it'll at least reduce the swelling on the side of his head um but yeah he's still knocked out unconscious on face down on the floor all right and now I'll, I'll elevate his feet above his heart he'll turn him over and then he, and then you know well he chokes on I'll, his own vomit I'll put it, I'll put him into the recovery position. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um so yeah, he's he's going to be stable. Uh you may want to give the daughter some instructions with him to yeah. to make sure he doesn't like get hurt or something. Yeah. Just keep an eye on him and Yeah. Um I on him maybe walk rinse out that damn wound on the side. Fuck, of his what, head the, sure what the what the hell did she it. What the hell did she tell me? People just started seeing the clown. Like, I don't think that we have another lead other than dreams. just going to the goddamn circus. circus. That's exactly what I was just saying. I mean, yeah. you know, was like, at this point, we just need to know where the circus is and go investigate the circus. Cause that's about all we're really getting here is that the clowns showed up in town. They haven't left. They somehow set to controlling them. They show up in their dreams, keep them awake. Um, I want to see, I want to ask Angie to show me her room. Uh, uh, I, I don't know why you want to see what? my room, mister. Darla, she, she does Darla, not. Said, no, daddy, yeah. daddy said I should never let strange boys in my room. I understand that, but you said you saw the clown under the bed. I... Yeah, but only, only in my dreams. And I haven't okay. dreamt in a long time. You don't think he's under there now? You don't have any reason to believe that? No, I don't know. I haven't been in there in a, a while. At least a couple of days. So you're telling me in the last couple of days that that clown couldn't have got up under there in the closet and he's doing dirt? What'd that clown do to you in them dreams? He, he mostly, he... He got real close and he'd talk to me and he'd whisper in my ear and saying that he was, he was going to eat my dreams. You goddamn that... clowns are pedophiles. We got to <laughs> beat them. <laughs> eat, eating dreams. That, that sounds like that they're drowsy from my Pokemon Go that what I play on my cell phone. <laughs> I told you to stop playing those goddamn games. Well, I can't help it. I'm addicted, and I spent fucking four to five dollars on it now. So I'm so fucking. I told you not to spend it. no damn money on them stupid ass games. Well, it was just, just a wait. dollar at first to get some extra fucking pokeballs. See, that's how they monsters. get monsters. Fucking before I knew it, I was fucking forty in the hole. I figured, it, what the fuck am I gonna stop now for? I tell you, it's how they get you. It's exactly how I get motherfuckers with that crack. Give them a little bit, give give them a hot taste for it real quick, and then just jack the price on them. Let's <laughs> fucking let's fucking roll on to that circus, I guess. I don't know. Unless you want to fucking go and hole up in that there motel for the night. Go at her fresh in the morning. We might as well try to get at it fresh in the morning. See, see if we can drudge up here after early light. All right. Um, right, so uh, I guess I'll drive back to the broken inn, which is a tremendous pun. <laughs> um, so you, uh, you, you leave town and you drive back towards the inn and as you're driving there, uh, it starts to get a little bit dark. Like it's, it's full blown sunset now. And just all three of you kind of have your own visual images of like what's happening with the surrounding area. Um, you know, maybe you're, you're seeing some stuff in the road, maybe buildings are changing. You might see stuff moving like out of the corner of your eyes. 
uh, that sort of thing. Um, but you all have like your own particular versions. None of you are seeing the same thing as you drive back into town. Hmm. All right. Um, so you also notice that the roads all seem to be flowing in one particular direction. Like you almost feel pulled, uh, but you can't really describe it. Okay. So Where the fuck am I going? I don't know, man. I thought we was headed back to the hotel. We ain't headed to the hotel. Why no, did you, you make that turn? You're These still fucking small towns. You're not fully pulled, so you were able to correct your direction. Um, but you you had made a couple of wrong turns, just like absent mindedly, like just turning down random roads that you're not familiar with. But you were able to turn around and and backtrack, and you got to the hotel. Um. And uh, uh, the uh, the bartender from earlier is now behind the the desk, and there's a a name tag that says Gus Broken, like first name last name, on the right, desk. Gus Broken. Gus Broken. So I'm assuming this guy's like the owner, or yeah, son of the owner, or some shit yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, he, he is the proprietor of the Broken. All right. Howdy there, Gus. Reckon you could set us up with a, a couple of rooms for the night? I suppose. Not not sure you'll end up needing them much, but maybe you got better luck than me. That'll be uh, $35 a piece. All right. 35. All right. Well, it's not a fancy establishment, sir. Not sure if you're used to them Marriott's, but this here, well... We got bed bugs. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna level with you. We got bed bugs. You saw a bitch. Boy, a hooch. Well, I got the same things early earlier. Uh I got a little bit of whiskey and a couple of them grain belts, but we don't got much. Fucking bed bugs. I might sleep in the car. Hell we might be better off. Well, I tell you, I mean it's it's the only bed in town. How much to bed. Fucking park in your lot and sleep in my car. I mean, you're you're fine. You can sleep wherever you want. Well, I'll tell you, you what, we'll get you some money. You give us the rest of what you got in that whiskey. And uh we'll give us some good whiskey and we'll give you some money for it there. That's a good exchange huh? and we'll sleep in your parking lot. Yeah, I need I, more than a few shots to take care of this arm. Ooh. Now you you can't you can't all be sleeping in the parking lot. I see you got one of them. Old school muscle cars, and ain't ain't no way the three of you gonna fit in there. And I can't have especially any of you be sleeping outside. What? I said, especially not Porkins' big ass. Right. Look, look, you're just gonna have to deal with the bed bugs. And now one of you can sleep in the car. I don't care. That's up to you. But if you want to say, tell you what, twenty buck for the two of you. Just, I, whatever. I I need you out of the streets. You can't I, be I, out at you can't be out at night. You can't be outdoors. I I lean over to to the two of them and I'm like, "Hey, y'all, we we got a guy in the trunk." Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like, "What the hell? The are we gonna fuck do are we gonna guy? do with him?" I don't so know. wait, he said he doesn't want us outside at night. What if we use that son of a bitch as bait? Wait for what? I mean, he did try to kill you. Well, something comes around at night. They don't want us outside at night. So, what the hell does that mean? Let's Boys, use that I can. Is bait. I can hear everything you're saying. It's I don't a care small what you room. Can't. We're having a private conversation. Go back to tending your desk, you son of a bitch. Just are you going to take the room or not? I I need fucking to get fine. what a, I will. I need to get to going. Shut the no, fuck not up right now. Conversation. You shut the fuck up. Whatever. Just give me the money. Here's your keys, and I gotta go. Here's your goddamn money. All right. He and he he grabs it, throws it in the register, locks it, and and turns around and walks out a door in the back of the office. Fucking piss ant. So bitch. Well, he sure was sure. He sure as shit was pushing that damn bed bug ass. Around. Why can't we be outside at night? I tell you what, that's, I tell you what, that's a good idea. We'll use that, that, we'll use that guy in the trunk as bait. 
We'll see here. We'll see what happens to him. Y'all don't think that's a little fucked up? Nah, fuck him. I mean... He tried to kill him. Yeah, I, I suppose. It's it's still a fucking living person, though, man. We well, gotta at least, you know, watch him. That's why I said we're gonna watch him. And whatever comes around and kills him, we're gonna go after that. <sighs> Larry, you crazy son of a bitch. Go fucking do what you're gonna do, I guess. <laughs> it's Larry for you. <laughs> oh, he's getting riled up. Hell yeah, now. Alright, so uh, he's out in the parking lot. What are we gonna do? We just wanna, like, set him up in the car? Or, like... Like, set him like lean him up against the lamppost but kind of yeah like, i was thinking maybe hands that behind it. originally but i was like I yeah, i'm also gonna grab my fucking 10 pound sledgehammer out of the trunk and have that handy well i got my blessed knife on me at all times i was blessed by a fucking holy man one day killed everything with it i've got uh, my hand my shot- cannon i, I got call my it shot- the Death Star. <laughs> I don't know if walking around with a flamethrower right now. Maybe. All right. Yeah, we're going to lean him up against a, a, a light post out there. Okay. Just you lean it cloud in a, comes against <laughs> this asshole. In a, vis- in a visible area that we can actually see him because I don't know what kind of like. Maybe yeah, like under a street light, so yes, we can see yeah. him from the room. Okay. Um, so uh, how how are you guys? Like, where are you where are you staying? What are you doing? Well, like the room, I you, would imagine bought, would have a bought, view of the street where you we bought could two rooms. Keep an eye on him for twenty dollars, so you have keys to two separate rooms. Yeah, so like we'll probably keep watch in one room and then. The other room, people can sleep in shifts or whatever we want to do. Shut up, maybe. Man, I could go for some grub. I bet you could, big feller. Hell, what'd you do? Run out of fucking Big Macs in your coat? Well, shit. Those things are good for a week. You know that. Uh, So, the the way the... The way you're running through them. (laughs) <laughs> the way those those rooms are set up is there's like one like rusty mattress with like a thin blanket and a dusty pillow on it and like a single wooden chair in the corner and a bathroom with water spots on the ceiling and somehow both rooms have a water spot on the ceiling in the exact same spot okay this is a Shit, terrible this choice. reminds me of one of those home movies Larry's mom was in. I tell you what, we'd be better off in fucking prison right now and sitting in these some bitches. I, I'm not sure there's much of a difference, Larry. Hell, at least damn chair'd be clean. But uh, I don't know, man. Like, so we're gonna like chill out in these rooms, waiting. If anybody sleep in them damn beds. Yeah, you'd be better off sleeping on the floor. Fucking, you get what you pay for, I guess. Yeah. Why don't don't y'all try to make yourselves comfortable? I'll keep an eye on Dickhead here for a bit. All right. right. To rough him up. So, uh, as as you guys sort of get settled in, um, it's it's full blown night now, and uh, who's who's sleeping? So it's uh, who's in what room? Uh, I'm I'm keeping watch, I guess. He's keeping watch. So are there two of you in one room? Yeah, I'm gonna stay in the room with him. But you're you're like laying down to get sleep. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, I guess if he took the chair, I guess I'm gonna try to lay down and get a couple minutes. You know, a little bit of shut uh Sure. So, um, Porkins goes off on his own to the other room, lays down in the bed. Uh, Silas, or not Silas, uh, Larry lays down in the bed. Silas is like sitting over in the corner, looking Ow, out the window. These little fuckers. 
<laughs> um, and neither one of you can get any sleep at all. No matter what you try, you just like you're both tired, you're exhausted, you've had a long day, you close your eyes and you just can't. You you, you kind of see like every time you close your eyes, you kind of see like flashes, like a light. Um, and you open your eyes and there's, there's nothing there. Close your eyes. You see the flashes again. You just, you cannot fall asleep. What if I've mastered the, mastered the art of sleeping with my eyes open? Is that, is that actually the art of baiting with your dick? Is that a thing on your character sheet? (laughs) Because that would be really funny if this game had that. (laughs) (laughs) It's not, but it should be. (laughs) I I use plus one sleep with my sleep with one eye open. Um, no, you just you just can't you can't sleep whatsoever. No matter what you do, try and try and try and you can't sleep. Sleep and Silas, with one eye open. And Silas, what you see is Ripping while you're looking out. Pillow tight, <laughs> exit light, enter night. Off to bed, bug, bed, bug, land. <laughs> it is two o'clock in the morning, Eastern, and we are singing Metallica. <laughs> Hooray! Yes. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the live stream for the Cure with Loot Quest. <laughs> it's the most live stream for the Cure and Loot Quest thing that has ever happened. <laughs> I'm telling you, right? <laughs> I wish I could say this wasn't on brand, but I don't think we've ever recorded an episode of Loot Quest that didn't go at least until 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh my god. I'm telling you, it's about usual. Except for the first one that that Nick wasn't on. So, what do I... Uh, So, (laughs) outside the window, you you see people start trickling out of um, buildings. Uh, Some of them are just sort of shambling along in the dark. Some of them have actual, like, oil lanterns and there's a couple of people that that appear to have makeshift torches and they're all like on foot or on bicycles um heading in the weird way that the road see- uh seems to be flowing and then you also notice e- e- for the first time even more how old and antique all of the buildings look it almost looks like a like a w- wild west town from like the 1850s uh, like a gold rush town like all of the buildings have like 1850s architecture. Well, apparently batteries don't fucking exist in this town. Um, I want to investigate a mystery. Okay. Holy fuck. That's another goddamn three. Well, <laughs> I'm leveling up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you, uh, you assume that it's just some sort of weird local tradition um, that they're all just like going for a walk. And the only reason they have the lamps and, and torches is because the same issue that you're seeing that electricity is not working must be some sort of thunderstorm in the area that had like an EMP effect on electronics. Hey, Larry. Larry, yo. Yeah, man. What? What? What do you think? Check out the fucking goobers walking down the street here in the fucking dark, man. <laughs> the goobers, you say? I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna look out the window and see what he's talking about. What the fuck's that creepy music, man? I don't know, man. It's kind of odd. I mean, seem, seems weird. I've been trying to sit over here and get some shut eye, but man, every time I close my damn eyes, I just, I just wake right back up, I'm telling you. It's fucking weird. Ooh, is anyone else you guys, a motherfucker about time trying to sleep? You guys can totally hear that music in the distance, too. Like, that is absolutely happening. Nice touch, Nick. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, man, I'll tell you what. Well, they got one of them car systems. They're playing their music real loud. That's why people can't sleep. I just feel... I feel unsettled. It's kind of weird. I'm not a fan of well, this sound. Especially not at least. I don't know. You think anybody can see us through this damn window here? It doesn't look like anyone's really paying attention to you. They're all sort of just minding their own business. 
but yeah. they're all walking in exactly the same direction. Hey. And how many how many people is it? Uh, uh maybe a few dozen. Um the the town's pretty sparsely populated, so it looks like there's more than what there are. And Just they're because heading away from us? They're they're all heading like down one per, one street. Uh it's like seventh street. Um, you're on Main Street. So it's just like down the road, around a corner. Hey y'all, don't don't worry, I'll check it out. Which is Did the new move that I took out. Wait, don't worry, I'll go. check it out is the new move that I took from leveling up. So whenever I go off by myself to check out something scary, mark experience. So I'm already on my way to leveling up again because <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> you guys and I'm gonna wa- just wander down to the street and follow him, I guess. Don't, wait, right. don't you remember? Doesn't this look weird to you? Don't you remember we built this city on rock and roll? <laughs> it's <laughs> just a joke. Sorry, I'm out of here. When Silas, back, without- everything looked so new in this town, and now it looks like an old western town. It is uh, strange. The way town looks just keeps changing. Um, yeah, also, I'll let you uh, be careful now. I'll tell you what, we're going to keep an eye on... Morgan, you, you notice that your arm does not seem to be getting any better at all. Like, it, you just... And you don't feel like you've been able to get any rest, even, even with what little you laid down. You feel, if anything, more tired than you did before. I'm clutching my hand cannon in one hand and just like my my left arm is just sort of limp at my side. God damn that hurts like a son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm, oh, you hadn't got I'm walking shot. I'm walking out of the hotel. I got a I've got my 45 tucked into my belt and I've just got my hammer I guess slung over my shoulder. I don't like this, Larry. Okay. Uh, so what you're, give me two seconds. Sure. This music's ominous as fuck. I love you all. I'm, I'm so immersed in what's (laughs) happening. I really am. Like, this is nice. Dude, this is better than I could have expected. This is fucking tight. <laughs> this has been really fun, man. This has been really fun so far. Can we stop playing all other <laughs> games and just play Monster of the Week exclusively? <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe I fucking... I'm so bad at this that I already leveled... And I, I decided that pl- I miss role playing so Wait. fucking much. I, I decided that since I leveled, that my next ability is going to be to go off alone. Since I'm so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I had to go track down a D10. Um, Wait, if if I have a haven, is that specifically only apply if we're like in? No, I think that's. You probably have like Shit, a. What do you need? I got you covered, man. Look, I don't know. No, I, j- I just needed a D10. I went. I'm just saying, I was like, image, I, I, was like I chose infirmary. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you could do that. Um. So, uh, you look out the window, Porkins, and walking in between those villagers and or the, the locals, you just see a lion. What the fuck is... Is it a lion? Larry! Fucking lion? What the Larry, hell are you talking Larry, about? Larry, you, you do not see it. Ain't no goddamn lion out there. Yo, I'm telling you, man, there's a goddamn lion. I'm sure as shit right there. Man, you're what? You've been smoking that fucking crack? I told you, we just you, we just sell it. We just need the money. You leave that shit alone. I'm telling you, big furry man... Angry looking teeth. Looks like he's out looking for blood. That man ain't nothing there. I'm telling you. Damn it. You're saying things, man. Y'all, y'all. Silence, keep your eyes open. Arm injury. Your arm's all fucked up. Got to seeing things. Larry, from behind you, you hear a loud bang. 
Holy shit! Did you the fuck was that? And when you turn you around, about? when you turn around, you see a shadowy figure standing in the doorway. Hey man, you watch out! There's some motherfucker standing in the doorway over here. Porkins, you don't see it. I told you, it's a lion. It's out there. There ain't no lion out there. There's a motherfucker standing in the door over here. God, I think you're the one that's gotten into your you own son of a bitch, I tell you what, your ass fucking moves. I'm gonna shoot you. Who the fuck are you? You uh, see the shape start moving in your direction, but it's still just as shadowy as if it was in almost complete darkness. It's just a silhouette. What the fuck is he talking to? What the fuck are you talking to, Larry? Talking to some bitch is fucking moving. It's goddamn shadow. I don't know what the fuck this is. It looks like it's reaching out towards you. Uh, I'm literally, I'm literally just gonna let go of a shotgun, right? Sure. So you you fire a shotgun round, and uh, you just hear wood splintering in the background. The shape's completely gone. Um, and, what and, the fuck was <laughs> it, man? Some bitch is trying to grab me. Fuck him. God, what what the fuck are you talking about? I told you there was some bitch in this room with us. He was trying God, to come right for me. Coming right you're for car, me. You're going it's fucking crazy. Fence. God damn, you're going fucking crazy. I ain't go crazy. You out there saying fucking lines, man. I'm telling you, he's right out there. He's walking right down the street. Plain as day. Man, I don't know. I think there's something up with this. Because there's a dude in this room. You didn't see him. I see no damn lion out there. I don't trust this. I think we're seeing dog. shit, man. Ever since we saw that motherfucking mime, everything has gone tits up. I tell you what. And how about that mime? Where how how is he fair there against the light? Uh when you look out the window, the mime is gone. God damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. Who neither of you see God neither of you see the mime anymore. God damn it, I knew we needed to watch that motherfucker. Well, you know what? It, it, it ain't no fucking point to sit up here no fucking more. He gone, so I might as well go figure out where the fuck he hobbled off to. God damn it, Larry, I told you. What'd All you right, tell so, me what? S- Cyrus. You. Or Silas. Cyrus. Cyrus the virus? Cyrus the virus. <laughs> Is I don't this know a where Con now? <laughs> so Silas, you're you're walking down the middle of the street. And uh, all of a sudden, like on either side of you, one is like this crazy, like juggling clown with four arms, just like juggling a bunch of swords and shit. And he just like comes up to your side. And then on on your other side, there's another clown um, with like a Harley Quinn hat. And he's just doing like front flips and back flips and like in between the the citizens and none of them are taking any notice and they're like going in between them um back and forth crisscrossing paths all right fucking street full of nightmares nothing to see here just gonna go about my business god damn it silas look out for that lion mimes are slippery sobs you were absolutely. You don't. You, there are two things in life you shouldn't trust: mimes and horses. I just, as long as you don't start <laughs> doing that walking against the wind shit. Um. Uh, so yeah. That. Um. And there's even like more and more people like going past you. Next thing you know, there's like a a carnival barker in a a flat brimmed straw hat going like, hurry, 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 step right up here, see the mirror of miracles. Larry, we can't uh, let him go down there that, alone. I, I think we were already headed out the damn room, dude. Did we? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, you, you guys we, you yeah. guys exited and you like, I'm saying by right now I walk up on I walk up on Silas and said, Man, what the hell is up with this damn carnival running through here right now? So you guys don't see any like carnival stuff. Um oh, you just okay. see like the, the citizens and everything. But like to Silas there's all sorts of like clowns and and barkers and all sorts of shit like up and down, um. So you you guys don't see it at all. Uh, yeah, because Silas up to this point, like, I haven't seen a monster. Like, whenever I've done like investigate a mystery, it's like I misread the situation and shit. So like, Silas 
doesn't know that like anything fucky is going on. Yeah, he just thinks these people are weird. So like um, I'm just Porkins, kind Porkins of following used... along to see what people are doing. Porkins, you so, like, no I've longer covered quite a bit of ground. You no longer see the lion. The lion where it was, it's just gone. Where the fuck? I'm telling you, man, there was a lion right there. Man, I believe you, man. It just I, I couldn't see the damn thing. Need to figure out what the hell's going on here. I don't like this. Where are all these people going? I don't know, man. Uh, if I don't know, is if if is there any way of like I investigate uh investigate a mystery or anything that I can figure out where it is they're going? No, I'll actually do you guys a favor, um, and and let you know. So the music that you've been hearing is getting louder, and you notice there's a whole bunch of lights coming up from just just on the outskirts of town um it looks to be a really big booming um like circus there's tons of lights it's almost like a county fairgrounds and um yeah like rides and um you almost like faintly hear children giggling that sort of thing you can hear like the ding of a bell from one of those those hammer machines hey i brought my own hammer you can smell popcorn and all right, so how far Cotton is Candy, if it has away a, from us at this no. point? If if he's not, is he like near us, or is he like uh, <clears throat> moved quite a ways away? Silent. I mean, he's maybe thirty yards in front of you. If you like, just jog, you could catch up to him. All right. Well, I need to make sure to go on and grab my flamethrower out the car while we're going. <laughs> <laughs> I That's gotta go weird. casually get my flamethrower. <laughs> hey, man. You never Dossest know when you flum and verfer. That's right. <laughs> Just in case, man. You never know when you're gonna set some shit up. Yeah. Like Teddy Roosevelt said, <laughs> tread softly and carry a big flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, right. that's how that went. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna grab that on my way out the door, out the out the door, on my way to Silas. All right, so uh, Porkins kind of moves ahead without you just a little bit, but you run back and you're getting the flamethrower, and so it's like almost like one of those scenes in movies where you just see like the view of of like the back of the trunk, and you're like fiddling around with it, and you pull it out, you shut the the trunk, and there's just like a guy standing behind you, like oh. jumps into the frame. And he's just like, hey. What the hell you want, motherfucker? Do you want a balloon? He's just like, want some? And like, hands you like a fistful of raw meat that that still has like some skin attached to it. It looks like it might be a person. All right. um, He's got got blood all over his face. (laughs) I... uh, I am going to. That is creepy as fuck. <laughs> that was good as shit, man. That was good as shit. All right, so I we just pulled a down here. I, I, I just pulled a fucking flamethrower out of the car. I am going to attack him with it. Um, and similarly to when you fired the shotgun, you just like blast flames out into the middle of the street, and there was nothing there. Son, he's just bitch. gone. All right. Well, then after that, I'm like, but you set an alley cat on fire. Here. Larry, and, what the fuck uh, are you cooking down there? Then I just uh, take off and I try to go catch up to him. Okay. At this point, you're you're gonna kind of be a little bit unnerved. Like you're you're starting to freak out a little bit. Make a sanity right. check. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, man, I'm gonna tell you what, man, there's a I, I stopped giving a flamethrower at that damn trunk there, and there's some fucking clown standing there trying to hand me some fucking raw ass human meat looking shit with blood all over his face. I, I went to shoot him, he wasn't there. Hey, man, there's some funny ass shit going on. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know, that crazy ass shit to keep making the sea. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. That's why I always keep the Death Star right in my pocket. Man, you and that fucking lion. Hell, nobody else saw it, damn lion. That lion I'm telling you, they're making a sea shit. You, I saw it. 
I'm telling, and I'm telling you, I'm, they're making us see shit. I saw the saliva dripping from its fucking teeth. It was real, goddammit. Can I see, like, the circus tents or anything yet? Yeah, you're you're coming up on it. You guys have been walking for, for a couple of minutes. It's just, like, kind of down the street. So you're, you're getting it. You're getting closer and closer, and you you see a like a carnival barker standing on the the outside of it. He's like, "You there, you there, right there, yes, you." And he points directly at you. It's like, step Me? right up here. You look like a boy who likes to have fun. This is what Silas talking to. God damn it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it's too spoopy. Spoopy. Yeah, so he's like, you look like a boy who likes to have fun. How would you like an adventure? But fuck, lay it on me. Well, we have here the mirror maze. Everyone loves the mirror maze. Alright. So can we see this carnival too, or is no, it a point or no? You guys, you guys, uh, well, you see the carnival. Um, you haven't caught up to Silas just yet because he was walking pretty fast, but you do see him, and uh, he's kind of like looking up off in the distance, um, and talking. Like you, you can't tell what he's looking at, but it doesn't look like there's anything there. He's just kind of like looking up at a, uh, like a scaffold or something like that. Okay. Okay. Well. I enter the mirror maze. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> what the timing of that? <laughs> while, That's so while, good. While we're still trying to catch up, can I holler his name, uh, like Silas, and try to get his attention? Yeah, totally. You can you can yell for him. Right. Um. Are you are you just you're just yelling at him though, right? Like calling yeah. him. Okay. Hey, he he doesn't respond or anything. He's just moving ahead. Like he can't what are hear you. What are you yelling about? Ah, oh, son of a bitch! I'm just trying to get a hold of Silas. Let him know. Hold I, up for a second. Or I feel like as I'm going in, I like turn back and look at him, and I like I motion, "Come on!" And then I walk inside. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. All right, where the fuck's he going to? Why? why and is he so they like can't even see that I'm walking into a building. It looks like I'm just walking into like a bunch of scaffolding set up. No, 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 no. That was that was or, outside uh, the tent. You like walked in past the gate. Um, so like the where the Barker was is he was like standing up on an elevated platform, like overlooking the crowd. So you were kind of like looking up at in the distance. Um, like just in an empty space to them so you walk in the entrance and like shortly after the entrance there's a, a large building marked mirror maze and you you like look back and kind of okay. wave them in does it look like it's in pretty good condition like newer and like does it look different to me than it does to them or nope nope it's just a, a normal building everything in the carnival appears to be like very sweet and innocent and happy right. and um cool. as soon as as soon as the the other people that were sort of shuffling along enter in the, like the area the, it's a, a, almost like life snaps back into them and they they all of a sudden become very animated and look like normal people okay yeah i'm i'm in that maze though okay um <laughs> So are we, uh, what a story, Mark. So oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, in so a, you guys... In a few shortly, minutes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> shortly <laughs> shortly after you see Silas uh, disappear into the mirror maze, you, you get up to the entrance, and um, the curtain is now closed on the mirror maze, and there's like a red velvet rope um, pulled across the, the entrance the fuck man he just walked in here no we can't leave him alone we can't let him just go in there by himself let's uh try to op just open the rope yeah and um 
whenever you go to open it, you reach for it and you start to pull it off. Um, a very large, like bald guy walks out, uh, like pulls out the flap and said, "This exhibit is currently closed, sir." <laughs> That's bullshit, man. I just saw somebody walk in here. Yes. Like I there. said, he is in there. That's why it is closed. You can enter whenever he is done. Only one guest at a time. You know the rules. The fuck are you talking about? What rules? He And he just repeats himself. This exhibit is currently closed. Only one guest at a time. You know the rules. Man. What do I what see would be in the that? Best? What do I I'm see in to that think maze? The best situation here. <laughs> I should just like attack him with like. If I should just shoot him with my shotgun, Damn it, Nick. or investigate a mystery and see if I can just figure out if this is real or not. <clears throat> um, you can investigate a mystery. Uh, eight. Yeah, and I think you get a hold so of that, right? Yeah, I think you get to ask one question on an eight. Yeah. Uh, from the list. Uh, I have the list. So you could ask what is being concealed here. Um, what happened here? Yeah. All right, uh, what, what what's being concealed here? That's what that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, that particular like ride or whatever is magic and nefarious, and okay. there's more than meets the eye to it. All right, it's a transformer. It's a transformer. I uh. <laughs> I don't. I don't know, Caleb. You give me the judgment call here. Should I flat out give him the the full answer for that? I don't. I don't fully know I mean, how much I'd I probably, have to reveal. Like I wouldn't. If it was me, I wouldn't reveal more than like what he could kind of glean uh, of it yeah. like, from the outside. But okay, okay, yeah. It's there's just there's more than meets the eye. It's a transformer. It's totally a, a Decepticon. Um. It's Starscream. Blow it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. It's it's uh. Well, I mean, what about the it's sound wave? Okay, I guess. Could I? I only get the one question. I'm like, I'm, I wonder if I can discern whether or not this guy in front of me is real or I'm just imagining it. Oh, he's real. He's very real. I'm through trying to do this your way, Larry. I'm gonna kick some ass. God damn it, Porkins! You gonna fucking kill yourself? Eight. Uh, how how are you trying to kick his ass? Oh, with my brass Pistol. knucks. Pistol. Okay. Give me give me one second. One. One. Um. Watch out for Godzilla! What's what's the damage on those brass knucks? Uh, Brass Knuckles is uh, uh, minus one harm, hand stealthy. Okay, so uh, you one harm, you, yeah, yeah. You punch this dude right in the face, and and he sort of takes it and like it knocks his face back, and just out of his hip pocket, he pulls out one of those extended batons, like those metal ones, and bashes you in the side of the head with it uh, for three harm. And uh, you have a pretty significant head injury um, that is just gushing blood. Well, he's unstable now. Yeah. Nick's going to die. <laughs> I gain, uh, that means I gain what? I gain plus one ongoing. And then uh, I can always keep going because I'm berserk, so I can always keep going, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Good luck <laughs> with your next character, Nick.
Shoot his dick off. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> fuck him up, Godzilla. Fuck him up. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm gonna take aim. I'm gonna take aim with the hand cannon. <laughs> oh, on, you baby. could also, Nick. You could also use uh, one of your luck points to avoid all of that harm. I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. Um, on your playbook, you have, like, right above where it says harm, it says luck. Yeah, I see that. And uh, you can mark luck to change your roll to a 12 or to avoid all harm from an injury. Oh, shit. So if you don't want to take that damage, you can mark off one of your luck points. Yeah, but if you use call. up all of your luck points, then, oh, like, geez. basically shampoo can throw whatever the fuck he wants at you. You can murder the fuck out of me. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, you've Grant. been marked by fate that, like, you're doomed. I think but I, I would that. fucking try like hell to avoid the unstable. Yeah, it's 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 not great. I am gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark luck to avoid harm. All right. I don't have to roll for that, right? I don't have to do anything? No, nah, you just I don't mark know. off the luck point. So are you out of luck, or no? No. No, you have point. up to eight uh, luck oh. points, I think. Or seven. Yeah, yeah. It's seven, yep. So I'm going to mark that down, actually. One. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> yep. Ugh. Oh, well, I'm all out of ideas, Larry. Well, you seen as your first one to just punch him in the face didn't work. It usually gets me in the door. Well, I know, but sometimes you got to figure out how to finagle it. And then I turn and I shoot it with my shotgun. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> all right, kick some ass. John, you're beautiful. I rolled a fucking uh, 12, man. Holy fuck. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> you kill him up real good. <laughs> John puts the shotgun in his mouth. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just fucking turns his head into a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you sure do got a pretty face. Be be ashamed if someone were to get rid of that. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> what the fuck? Who hurt you, John? Who hurt you? <laughs> Who made you like this? Oh, well, shit. you know, <laughs> when you watch your wife brutally fucking torn apart. By zombies, it just it really changes the way you look at it. God and the way I look Larry. at it, this some bitch is in my way, and I'm trying to get my friend and figure out what the fuck's going on here. I thought I was so cool. He needs to God die. Damn. Oh my god. So I <laughs> the lack of people dying thus far has been slight. <laughs> uh you obviously hit him. Um so what what is your extra effect? Are you gonna take a forward, give a forward to a hunter, inflict terrible harm, suffer less harm, or uh, force them where where you want? Force him where I want uh, into a I mean, pine box. I was gonna say he's he's <laughs> he's gonna be dead. You may want to use that, and this is this is kind of cheap, one harm. but. Yeah, but it's almost it's almost two o'clock in the morning here, so yeah, uh, uh, yeah, you should you should probably take less harm. Take it's less almost harm. three o'clock. Yeah. Well, I'm in Iowa. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. how's your sex life? Pretty in great. How many minutes? Bitch. Gonna take the less harm and go on. Okay. About. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> this guy has pretty fast reflexes. He sees you somehow uh, pull a shotgun on him, and he bops you upside the head too. But it's just a uh, glancing blow, and you only take uh, two harm. And 
Um, you shoot him wherever you decide to shoot him. Oh, I shoot him right in the fucking face. Yeah, I I figured. (laughs) What's wrong with his face? What's wrong with her face? face? There's a shotgun in it. Uh, yeah, his his Carl, that his, kills people. I thought they'd be more crispy. <laughs> Doggy faces are gross. Um, yeah, so he he falls over dead, and uh, like sort of caves back into the curtain. All right. Oddly what, what enough, so- oddly enough, no one around you is taking any interest in. You just murdering that guy. Well, hell, God that's damn, that's, that's, Larry. Seems like nothing gets these people's blood flowing. I'm gonna tell you what. All right, now let's figure out what the hell's going on here. And we're gonna walk. What we're do gonna, I see inside the maze? So, so you you go to reach for the rope again, and this time a grizzly bear comes out of the flap. What the fuck is this bear. now? Only, <laughs> only, um, uh. Uh, Larry sees it. God damn it. So, Larry, you see a grizzly bear come out of the tent. I take another goddamn shot with my shotgun. <laughs> now what the fuck are you shooting at? Fucking you bear, man. Carl. Carl. So, yeah. Uh, Porkins, you just see Larry, like, reach for the rope, panic, and just shoot his shotgun into the, the tent flap. Larry, you've lost your fucking mind. And I was in goddamn bears, man. This fucking bear bum rushed me. Charlie, the fucking bear. we're going you to fucking Candy Mountain, me. Charlie. <laughs> no, All man, right, I'll tell you, it's just like it lying. So let's let's flash back to Silas here. Silas, you're in the the mirror maze, and whenever you first walked in, it's a very large, open, dome shaped room that's just covered with completely seamless glass uh, uh, like seamless mirrors in, in wow. a perfect dome the world of imagination and imagination at the, at the end of the room there is a single uh, non mirrored uh, doorway with a black curtain over it um, well I guess I know which way I'm going okay so in, in the first dome shaped room you just see your re- reflection as normal and you pass through the black curtain and uh into the darkest timeline <laughs> into the <laughs> into the the main mirror portion and there's all sorts of branching directions but there's mirrors covering every single wall and there's like a a bright light above so you can see clearly and in every mirror you you look to be something completely different um there's one mirror where it's exactly like you but there's no face uh, there's another mirror where you're dressed up like a clown and yet another mirror where um instead of your reflection it's just a silhouette well fuck <laughs> There's the there's a Caleb response. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So you this just fuck, continue through this through fucking the maze. Freak me out. Guess I guess I go forward. All right. Um. So you uh you turn what direction? Left, right, for you know, you said forward. Uh. Yeah. So you go for, you go forward another you know like corridor uh, and there's still more more weird mirrors and one you're you're super fat super skinny the normal funhouse mirrors but then there's another one where you just don't have a you don't have any skin it's just like your muscles and stuff and yet another one um all you see is your head but it's not like it's just flat it's like a capitated head with like part of your spine sticking out the bottom and um Yet another one where where your entire body is backwards. Like your head is on backwards. And and as you go in farther, it's just getting me weirder. back. <laughs> it's just getting weirder and weirder. And you, you keep it's taking It's amazing twists. that's how what we all look like inside. <laughs> um and then finally you you make a turn and it's a dead end. Um and at the very end 
It's the first time you've seen a reflection that looks exactly like you. Okay. Oops. I want to stumble across something important. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right. You noticed that the uh, the mirror at the very end isn't precisely mirroring your your movements. It's ever Fuck. so slightly off. It's dark link. If I if I hit it, it's just gonna hit me back. I have to jump up above it and do the downward <laughs> thrust. <laughs> You've discovered its only weakness. Um, the longer <laughs> the longer you stand there, the closer it appears to be getting to you. Like it it's not like it's moving, it's just kind of getting larger in field of vision. Shit. All right, I've ready my hammer. Okay. You get ready to pull your hammer out. Does and the does the reflection ready its hammer? It does not. It's just kind of standing there. I say, "What do you want?" It cocks its head at you and uh its eyes turn black and a a very broad smile like a twisted like goblin smile like forms on its face but still your face so like just a really weird fucked up nightmare version of your face with like what goblin the mouth. fuck what what the fuck matter what manner of critter are you some bitch <laughs> and from behind you you hear uh You hear like the sound of like robotic footsteps, like <laughs> like like a really big, large walking robot coming from behind you. It's all right, Silas. Robots aren't real. <laughs> so, like in front of you, there's there's you with the goblin mouth. From behind you, there's a robot sound. All right, time to smash. I'm so gonna you... kick some ass on that mirror with my fucking sledgehammer. Okay. Um, seven. All right. Um. So you you go to hit it with your hammer, and it's it's a. Like, right when you make contact, you realize that it's not a mirror. It's, like, open space now. Um, and you hit it with your hammer. How much harm is that? Uh, it's three harm, and it's messy. What does that mean? Um, it just, it's hard to cover up that I was swinging it around, I guess. Like, it gotcha. It, like, blood splatters and shit. Okay, so you kind of, like, make contact with it. Um, and there's like a dull thud right as you make contact it it sort of grazes off its head and it bites down on your arm with the, the goblin mouth for one harm okay um yeah so it you still hear from behind you, like the <laughs> fucking Ed Two Hundred Nine's creeping up on me. Um, so let's flash back to. Are we able to get in there yet, or still? Well, you okay? So you you thought you saw the grizzly bear. You fired your shotgun into the tent, and then. Uh, uh, or er, uh, Porkins kind of yelled at you. Okay. So, you no longer see the grizzly bear. But, right. from behind you, you hear someone calling to you. It's, uh, like a deep, booming voice. Hey, you guys, over there! You wanna see a show? Wanna see a show. Uh, we're gonna turn, uh, I guess I turn around and I see where it's coming from. There's just this giant, like, six and a half foot tall, burly guy 
um, with a bald head and the most majestic mustache you've ever seen in your entire life, wearing like a striped wrestling singlet. The strong man. <laughs> you see through my tricks. Yeah. <laughs> you've solved the puzzle. Now you get to kill the monster. Yeah, shoot him. No, uh, <laughs> no, no more distractions. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die in the terror maze. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, uh, I feel like I should still be trying to save him from this maze. You let your wiener do the walking, and now I'm dead. <laughs> it's the hardest working liver in the galaxy, Morty, and now it's got a hole in it. <laughs> hey, Caleb, do you have your Twitter up? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna send you a message. I don't know, Nick. What do we do? Do we go see the show or we try to get a walk back in the same area? I'm real worried about what's happening with Silas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We gotta find him. We're gonna try to go through the damn... Try to tr retry to go back into the damn Hall of Mirrors. And, uh... Is there any way I can just, like, stomp the damn thing of the velvet rope off of its old... Just break the damn hinge? Um, yeah, you can, you can go for it and, and try it. Alright. Or hell, I guess, uh... He could stomp at it. Fork it! <clears throat> Man, Parker, why don't you come over here and stomp that damn thing out? Break it, stupid damn velvet rope, and we'll walk on in there. Ooh, it's pleasure. And I thunder over and just wrap my foot down on it. <laughs> so the the uh, velvet rope just goes, like, toppling over. There was nothing magic holding it up or anything. <laughs> you just kind of, you just kind of, like, ran ran over at it like a spaz and just, like, kicked it and it, like, easily toppled over and you almost, like, tripped over yourself. <laughs> and right as this happens, you see the, the curtain open up and, uh, uh, Silas walks out. Goddamn, Silas, where have you been? Uh... Got got myself turned around there for a little bit. Uh, fucking what the hell? weird shit going on here, man. Man, what the hell was happening in there? Man, I don't know. It's fucking funhouse mirror. It's a bunch <laughs> of weird shit. No, don't give me that shit. I know there's something happening around here. Dude. They got freaky shit making a sea freaky ass shit. I'm telling you. I know you've been seeing something. What the hell was you seeing in there? With the I LG fucking released that last shipment with Larry. I went in there. There were fucking mirrors that showed me with no skin, no head, no face. Fucking weird shit. My ass fucked up shit. I'm telling. One of them showed me no body. I was just a fucking floating head, man. The Sounds hell like is a that? Bad How the date. fuck am I supposed to sleep ever again? I don't know, man. We gotta figure out what the hell is causing this. On top of a pile of money with many beautiful ladies. Alright, now what's going on with that dude with the mustache? Is he still <laughs> he, there? Or? Yeah, he's he's calling he's still calling you over. He's like, Oh he, like he's calling to everyone, like, Oh, would you like to see a show? You young man, you young woman, you pretty lady. That sort of thing, like trying to call let's, people over to see a strong man show. Let's go All see right. what this guy's on about. I I yeah. think I can outstrong this strong man. I'd like to see that. I'll tell you what. I guess we're going to go check this out. All right. So you um, you walk over to the strong man, and he's like, Oh, I knew we got to take her here. All right. First up, I need you. You, good sir. You, big man there. And he points over at Pork and says, like, You look like a strong chap. Damn right. Why don't you you come over here and see if you can pick this up and points over at a, a set of dumbbells, each labeled with, like, 500 pounds. Do I have to roll something for that? No, nah, because you totally can't. But I go ahead totally and... I totally can. You watch. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, I go over to it and I and I try to lift it with my good arm. I try to lift one of them with my good right arm. Yeah, and it like it lifts like two or three inches off the ground. Like you give it a good hoist and you're like ah, and you're like yeah. <sighs> Like you feel pretty good about it. Also, you poop yourself just a little bit, but that's normal. Yeah, just just like a little bit. Like it didn't make a sound or anything, but you know. Great. Now I'm gonna stink up Silas's car. What was that, bud? Oh, I couldn't lift it. I said. Ugh. It looks like you were struggling pretty good there. You have no idea. Oh. All right, so uh, uh, the strong man then like, like ah, a noble try, a noble try, and he reaches forward with one hand and like does a deadlift and like starts to lift it up and just lets it go and walks off. Starts to lift it up, like like Let's... he lifts it up. It's like it's like past like his knees, like he's gonna do like a one arm deadlift. <laughs> And then he just like lets it go and wanders off, doesn't say a word. But he he looks like he's walking towards like a big top circus. Okay. Does it show off like crash to the ground or is it just oh, like yeah, no, oh yeah, okay. like it's like, shh, like it it smashes the ground and it starts to roll off and but he just he just walks away. Fucking show off. Let's do our old timey kettlebell workouts. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, well, I guess we need to start walking towards the fucking big top. I don't know what the hell is some bitch problem with it. He invites us for a show, drops a damn weight, and just takes off. Man, I mean this sounds full of fucking freaks. We gotta get out of here. I don't ASAP. know. At this rate, we need to do some more shooting. More shooting, then we leave. All right, I like it. Now let's go fucking investigate this damn big top. I'm right by you. Larry, will you buy me a popcorn, please? I'm getting a little snacky. <laughs> Ain't no goddamn money. But it's free anyway. Go buy the popcorn stand. Yeah, just yeah. Shoot when the it, goddamn popcorn guy, then just take <laughs> it. Whenever you, you go to any of the, the stands, it, no one has any signs up asking for money. Everything appears to be free. Yo, don't eat that. What if you become one of these fucking carnival zombies like them because they eat the popcorn? All right. And at this point, it's, it's like one o'clock in the morning here. It's just the middle of the night it's or sorry it's it's not one o'clock it's like 11 30 11 45 the music is getting more and more ominous you notice the the other people in the the circus start to <clears throat> start to act a little bit more uh recklessly they're they're moving around they're bumping into each other they're they don't all have that like element of wonderment about them anymore um, everyone seems to be moving with like a very specific purpose and has like a, a permanent scowl on their face and they all start filing into the big top okay hey guys I know this is kind of a, a foregone conclusion but anything seem weird about that to you that everybody's funneling into the same spot it does Are we sure we want to do that? I don't I mean, know, now, man. Now's our chance. If we want to fucking figure out what's going on with that maze there, like, this is a prime opportunity. No one's around. Well, we've come this far, Silas. Well, I mean, the thing is, though, is we're still trying to figure out what the fuck's wrong with these people and that people are headed. They're go all gonna go in there. So what? What the hell's going on? Has got to be inside that tent. I mean, if they're all hanging around in there, they're contained. We can come back. Let's knock out one thing at a time, bud. All right. Let's tell you what. Let's try to check out this maze real fast. All right. Uh. So. You guys turn around and you start heading away from the the big top. You're like bumping into different uh, 
uh, citizens of the town who everyone's sort of flowing towards the big top and they they jostle you pretty roughly and um like bump against you abruptly and you get back to the um the mirror maze and the curtain is wide open and Silas kind of takes his takes a step behind you guys and um like acts a little cautious Hey Silas what the hell are you doing back here You 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 the one that's been in here for me you should take the lead Silas Hang on Um Yeah I just lunge at uh Larry's throat not nah, my mouth like splits open into this big wide toothy maw. Uh, yeah, he he lunges lunges towards Larry. I'm gonna hit him with the fucking bunt of, like the fucking base of a shotgun. What kind of crazy bullshit is this? A fucking heel hit him. Uh, okay, so you're gonna go to kick some ass? Yeah. I okay. I mean, uh, you could also, like, read a bad situation or yeah, act I under pressure, bad, I, I think. I could actually do this. Right? I could act under pressure, I guess. If that, I mean, yeah, I think I think those would be the three that you could do. Alternatively, well, I, Porkins could do a protect someone. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? That actually sounds like a really, really good call. I'm going to protect someone right now. Uh, oof, five. Um, well, so mark that experience. A, yeah, well, mark act, that down. Act, well, act under pressure, what would I do? <laughs> if, like, how would this relate to it, I guess? Um, I guess so I act under pressure. This covers trying to do something under conditions of a particular stress or danger. Examples of acting under pressure are staying on task while a banshee screams at you, barricading a door before a giant rat comes up, resisting the mental domination of a brain worm, fighting on when you're badly... Okay, I guess that wouldn't really work for so this. Think, mm, it might also be applicable, though, if you want... It, like, it's up to you, Shampoo, but, like, if he wants to try to dodge out of the way and avoid the attack. Yeah, I'd say that'd be more like a read a bad situation. Okay. Yeah, maybe, I guess. Yeah, that that seems more like it. Well, like, read a bad situation is the one where you get to ask questions. Oh, then, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah act under pressure. Then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that or kick some right. ass. I, de I definitely want to, like, move out of the way. And then I guess I could hit him with the hilt of fucking gun if I had to. Okay. Uh, so what are the side effects of Porkins protection? What did you what did you roll, Porkins? A five. You rolled a, a five, okay. So you made things way worse. Uh oh, you shit. went to like you went to like You're shove welcome. You went to like shove um uh uh Larry out of the way and you actually pushed him into the lunging um Silas and and bitch. he was and he was able to to bite him and deal one harm. Oh, Larry. Oh, damn, dude. Silas what the hell on that dodge. But you can you can still react now. You just you just took the one harm from like getting All bit. Right. Silas, what the hell? God damn it! I really need to hear. <laughs> All right, so I mean, now he he's like on top of you, like um, like you, you're you're both still standing up, but he's like latched on and he's like biting at your throat, trying to like tear your throat out with uh, like giant goblin I, mouth. Can I fire my hand cannon? At him? Yeah. Would that be kick some ass? I mean, I that guess. Was, that would be a, a, a kick some ass. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the kick some ass. I'm gonna fire my hand cannon at him. 
Well, I mean, I hear that. That's a nine. Um, and that's a three harm. Close, loud. All right. Um. So yeah, that that hit him. Um. Let me see something here. But he's still he's still latched on. Um. There's like blood pouring out of his like shoulder quite profusely. But you see like the flesh around it kind of change color, and it almost looks like like a gray spongy material um, that's like changing colors and. Uh, the blood is All purple. Right. Uh, what the fuck? I, just, I take my shotgun and I shoot him, and I got a ten. So, sure. Uh, he's able. He's able to like bite down on you like one more time as as he gets shot. Um, if you got a ten. So, you can reduce the harm. Yeah, I can reduce yeah, exactly. the harm. Yep. So that you're gonna reduce the harm. Um, so yeah. you won't take any more harm. And you're able to like shrug him off, and you shoot him with your shotgun, and he just like explodes into goo. God damn! It wasn't fucking Silas at all. Oh, that's fucking that disgusting! Fucking bit me. God damn it! I helped Larry up. Guess Where the hell's the real Silas? Aid if you can. <laughs> yeah, I need to do some first aid. The fuck happened to Silas? So, like, you just gotta. You well, shampoo. Know, what what happened what? to Silas? Okay, so flash forward back inside the maze. Silas had been completely overrun by his mirror doppelganger and captured. Uh, yeah. Fortunately and for him. What, what was the robot footsteps coming up behind me? Hallucinate. Just a hallucination. Yeah, I just feel like distracting. That's basically how you got overrun. You sh- you like fought back against the mirror creature, and then you turned to deal with the robot. There was nothing there, and the the mirror monster like tackled you and, and overran you. And, yeah, and, and I kind of feel like I have the t- had this moment where like I turned back to to face it, and it was lunging at me, and I just kind of lost hope, and I just like dropped my hammer to the floor totally yeah that's great okay. um so you were you were captured and you you find yourself um sort of coming to on the floor of a a giant like colossal room uh and there's there's other uh citizens in the room with you um like almost in like a, a cattle pen basically um most of them are are in various states of unconsciousness uh some of them appear to be dead others are just like in shock and uh despondent hmm hey uh y'all see what brought me in here what the hell's going on the the one person who appears to be with it uh is what appears to be a circus performer He's wearing a like a, a suit coat with tails and bright pants and like a a fluffy shirt. Uh, he he looks like he might be the ringleader of the circuit. And he says, "I uh, I was in charge here. We yeah, were just a, I gather that from your get we up. Were, the name the name's Wondrous, Captain Wondrous. I uh." That's- Keller full of shit, man. <laughs> I I realize that this looks bad, but I promise you this is not my this is not my fault. We were we were just stopping in town for a few days. I don't I don't know what happened. Uh, it, it's 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 a haze. I just I woke up in in here one day and slowly more and more people were brought here by them the i presume you saw one the monsters that is yeah fucking they nabbed me it start start at the beginning what what was the first thing that you noticed that was off try to well, try to think back it's so so foggy. I, I can't. Probably the clown. 
the the big the big clown. He showed up to me in my dreams and said that it was his circus now and that he was in charge. I thought it was a just a bad dream. I I have a bit of a drinking problem, you see. Uh I've I've had the night terrors for a long time. So I drink to make them go away. So naturally when I saw this I drank more. Well, you didn't think that a big clown coming to you in a dream and telling you that he's in charge of the circus now is a little fucking on the nose for what's going on here? I, I, I just, I hadn't put it together. I don't, uh, don't, maybe. everything's so foggy. Yeah, you do have a drinking problem, friend. What, uh... I think, <coughs> I think he, he, he lives in the, there's, there's a storage, there's a storage room underneath the maze where we control all the lights, a control room. I think he's I think he's there. Okay. I want to investigate a mystery. Okay. <clears throat> let, me, let me roll my three again real fast. Sure. Okay, that's four. Fuck. Yep. I rolled a four. <laughs> okay. Um. So that so that I basically might reveals just... some information to him that I might not necessarily have wanted to. You're like, look, I'm terrified of clowns too. Have been my whole life. I don't want anything to do with no goddamn clowns. <laughs> and he's like. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, honestly, I'm not real fond of the clowns either. That's why I never had any in my circus. You see, we had performers, and you know, we would we would wear the the clothes. But up until that mime showed up, we never had any clowns mime? in the circus. Yeah, yeah, the mime. He, he nice guy. That he was trying to. Stop being a hitman or something? I don't know. I just what figured he had fuck? a brain injury. I fucking met that cat. That fucking guy. Give us the slip. Yeah, his name's his name's Harlow. I think he has something wrong with him. Like yeah, a head injury so. or something. He's a weird Probably guy. Probably a couple by now. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but... I don't think he has anything to do with it. He was just the first guy I ever felt sorry enough to, to hire for the show. So, about about this mystery here, I don't know what the cause is. <clears throat> yeah, but, but whatever's going on, I'd say that, that Harlow feller's at the center of it. I don't... I'm not sure about that, boy. I'm not sure, but anyways, you're you're here now. There's no escaping. Hmm. So, going back to uh, Larry and um, Borkin, you guys are outside of the the mirror tent, and. You have a chance to go in or examine somewhere else. You just turn, just turn monster too. Silas into goo. Is there any way, you, like, take a second and like try like You're clean out the bite wound, and wrap it up yeah. real quick? Oh yeah, totally. You guys, you can do first aid on yourself. Um, right. There's there's like a stall with bottled water across the way that you could use to wash it out. All right, and so. take one harm away. All right, there we go. So I'm actually, two. uh, if you'll indulge me for a moment, I'm gonna wrap. The, I'm gonna wrap the stream down here because I'm gonna die if I stay awake any longer, and I gotta be up to be fucking starting day three at 10 a.m. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Uh, so, are so, we gonna do uh, episode two? I think we have to at this point because I'm gonna die in like a few minutes. <laughs> I, feel um, you. I figured you were probably fading. I gotta get up. Uh, I gotta get up uh, early tomorrow so I can start day three of the stream. So thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna do it for uh, the live stream for the Cure Day Two. If you're still hanging out with us in chat, if you're staying out hanging out with us on stream, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. We are eighty 
percent of the way there. We are over four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars. So that means one final day, and all we got to do is raise nine hundred and ninety dollars to match our goal of five thousand dollars for the Cancer Research Institute. And as I did last night, just to end the stream on a high note, I'm going to go ahead and play us out with some bagpipes. Uh, Amazing Grace on the bagpipes, uh, which they played at my mother-in-law's funeral. She passed away a little over a year ago, just about a month before last year's live stream for The Cure. We will see you all back here tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. to get things started for the final day. And I just want to thank uh, the Loot Quest players, including myself, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Shampoo, Caleb, and John uh, for an absolutely amazing time. Uh, but it is 3 a.m., and I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's fair, man. Yeah, that's Trying totally to I was I was prepared to go as late as you wanted me to go. Yeah. Jesus, well, sweet God. Now we're going to have to do another fucking now four we have to hours do another tomorrow. Cause... <laughs> now, you guys, you guys are, you guys were probably like 30 minutes from the end of this, but I, I respect the, uh, the desire we're gonna, for sleep. We're going to have to come back to finish this, though. We, we really yeah, gotta, yeah. we got to finish out the absolutely. End we are absolutely yeah, going we'll, to have to, we'll work it in. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, to close out the stream for the day, hashtag fuck cancer. Thank you all very, very much for listening. Thank you all very, very much for watching. We will see you back here in seven hours for day three of the live stream for The Cure.